Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today I am setting up my bullet journal for May and my theme this month is music or rather album covers and records. One of my friends actually suggested this theme to me multiple times and this month I thought I would finally give it a go. My cover page was inspired by Sun Cerulean on Instagram, who did a very similar theme last summer, I think. Definitely check out her version of this theme. And as for what I am actually drawing, I am alternating on my cover page between vinyl record album covers and the actual vinyl records next to each other. And the album covers I am drawing myself with my colored pencils. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, you can definitely just print out photos of the actual album covers and glue them in, but I wanted to draw them myself for my theme. For the album covers I chose artists and albums that I like and that I like to listen to a lot and I try to make it a good mix of more recent releases and also some oldies which you'll see in the next couple of spreads. And for the cover page so far you've seen me draw Harry Styles second album, Lizzo's first album and Ed Sheeran's second album which I think is his best album. And now I'm doing the album artwork for I Am Not Shane's first album uh, who's a relatively small artist who I'm actually seeing in concert this year which I'm very excited about. Then in the lower left corner I am doing Hosier's first studio album, who I have to say currently is my favorite artist. I love his music, um, although I'm not even sure if I enjoy his first or second album more. But here I drew the first one and at the top is the hardest one I drew, which is the first album by Lil Nas X. If you know the artwork, it's really intricate and has so many colors and so many things are going on. So my goal was just to make it somewhat recognizable on the page uh, and I think I succeeded. <laughs> and then I just filled in the records with a solid black and added some highlights with a white gel pen and I also added my title May in the middle record also in my white gel pen. On the page next to it I created a little collage page centered around the uh, explicit content warning that's placed on lots of album covers if there's any swearing in it or something like that. And I paired that with a couple of other stock photos of record players and records in a music store. And I tied everything together with a couple of strips of washi tape. For my calendar page I did my regular calendar grid which was really large for this month because it starts on a Sunday and ends on a Tuesday so we have six columns in total and then I decorated that again with my records and the album covers and for this one I did Toto, Billy Joel, The Beatles and Brian Adams so <laughs> this is kind of the oldies page and then I decorated again with some washi tape. I would love to know what music you all like, so feel free to put down in the comments who your favorite artist is or maybe if you even have a favorite album of all time, I'd love to know. Next I did my budget tracker and a notes spread and I decorated both of those pages with some album covers and vinyls at the bottom of the two pages and for this one I did an album by the 1975, another Beatles one and Lady Gaga. Um, I kind of messed up on her arm there, it kind of got way too thin so that was not planned but it's fine, happy little accident. <laughs> Thank you. 
For my habit trackers, I used the same exact design I've done throughout the whole setup. I drew some vinyl records and some album covers, but instead of actually drawing real album covers, I used the spaces inside the covers to put down the numbers for the month. And that's where I will track my habits. I thought that turned out really cute. And next to that, I created a quick highlights page with two records and two album covers. And one is a James Bay album, which I really like, and one is a One Direction album, which I think is the worst uh, art I drew for all the albums in this setup. Um, if you look at it closely, it's quite funny to look at it, but I'm just not great at drawing people, especially so many in such a small space. So. Enjoy and have a good laugh. <laughs> And for the final spread in this setup, I'm doing my first weekly spread for May, of course, and I'm using a standard horizontal layout and I'm decorating each day either with a record or an album cover. And for this one, I drew a Taylor Swift album, another The 1975 album, a Foreigner album and a Queen album. Um, but somehow the camera cut off, so you're not gonna see me fill in all of the albums. Just in the full flip through, you'll see everything again. And here we are at the end of the video. Here is me flipping through all of the spreads for May. I really enjoyed doing this theme even though my hand was definitely cramping by the end of filming it. But I hope my friend who suggested it really likes how it came out. That would be great. And of course I also hope that you enjoyed watching this video and you enjoyed the theme I chose. If you did be sure to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And of course be back for my next video. I hope you all have a great month of May, stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative and I will see you next time. Bye!